Hey guys, this is Kikyo. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Kikyo. I'm living in Japan, Tokyo. I'm originally from China. Today's video is about a room tour. I've been wanting to take in this kind of room tour video for a long time because like a lot of people's asking where you live, like how much you pay in Japan. Today, here it comes. By the way, I got a dog. If you guys don't know, it's actually two years old now. Um, she's just like chilling in my bed right now, which is kind of annoying. She thinks it's her bed. But anyways, if you're interested in today's video, please keep watching. Today's video is gonna be a room tour and I will show you guys the outside of the building. Shibuya is kind of like a center area in Tokyo if you guys don't know. I'm pretty sure you guys all seen the Shibuya crossing, right? So it's like really the center of Tokyo and kind of like expensive everywhere. This apartment is 25 meters square, which is pretty tiny. It has one room, one kitchen, bathroom, all separated. In Japan, mansion, which means they have like all these security doors and then like very safe very fancy kind of buildings and apartment means a little bit older style and built maybe like 10 more years ago i'm living in this mansion which has 15th floor and i'm living on 10th floor it has a really really beautiful view i want to show you guys well i guess i just need to show you guys more details let's go to the kitchen now all right guys this is the entrance where i keep all my shoes this is weird huh? I just saw this at Don Quixote. It's like kind of like a supermarket in Japan. And I got this like soup gacha bon, which is like you put coins inside and then you can get a little ball. But this one is like really, really huge. And I kind of just don't know what to do with it. It's like skincare stuff there. In this corner, I have, oh my God, I need to show you guys this. This is what I made in, when I was in college with clay. A gengang area, which is like a little entrance before your room. This storage, I use it to keep a lot of different stuff. You see umbrella. It's a little messy. I don't really want to show you guys everything. A little bit painting stuff. More shoes, a lot of shoes. I don't know if you guys love to keep all your plastic bags. I keep all my bags there. I love collecting all these like plastic bags from supermarket. I don't know why. These two papers are so funny. I cannot show you guys where I live. Basically, this paper says like I don't have storage I always keep my suitcase outside and they always give me a paper like this to warn me no more luggage and I just think it's funny to just put them inside of my house I think it's a piece of art place I keep all my medicine supplements coffee tea because I love drinking tea guys I love I love all kinds of teas and this is really good. This part is just a lot of food and snacks. Here I have all of these for dogs. These are like dogs supplement from DHC, which is a very popular Japanese brand for supplement. They also have supplement for people. And I just got this one for vitamins for my dog. These are Japanese beginner driver markers. Of course, we have a lot of stuff I don't want to share. I really need to clean up my room more. So here is the the mm, main kitchen part right so this is where i keep all my spices oil olive oil by the way you guys know mct oil is like pretty healthy for your body all my blah 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 Duh, it's a little bit messy but yes this is my kitchen more kitchen stuff here and uh, here and here is where i keep my cups all right this is my kitchen it's like pretty tiny but it's like the hallway to my room the best part of my kitchen is like separated with my room my main room and my bathroom there is one problem that is no window or anything so it's kind of like dark the good side is the smell doesn't go to my living room which is great so this corner has a washing machine and this is uh where i got from my friend i used to just use this spot for my luggage and suitcase now uh i got a washing machine which is perfect let's go to my bathroom and it kind of looked like uh, a little hallway 
So you can see everything's really like small and really tiny. Everything kind of just like fits in their spot perfectly. It does come with a washer, which is perfect. Here is my makeup show. The lowest part is my cleaning stuff. And then I have all my mask, my sunscreen, dry shampoo, hair oil, stuff like that. And here I have some eyelashes, basically like just everything related to body care, hair care, makeup remover sheet, the top perfumes, um, I can make more videos to just introduce my favorite perfumes and makeup stuff. I have like a lot of perfumes. I love perfumes. Eyeshadows. This is my jewelry box. Everything's not organized at all. By the way, guys, I love pearls so much. I have my contact lens. Here I have all my hair accessories, makeup samples. I fit in there, so when I'm traveling, I just grab something from this bag. Part I was thinking about to fit more clothes in it because I have a lot of clothes, but you guys know this is my bathroom, so the clothes are gonna get wet. Here is all my bandana. These are all my sunglasses. It's just like too full, I can't even open it. And I have my belts, my more cleaning stuff. Here is my sink. I know everything's not super clean, but I have a huge mirror, which is great. I love it. Hair dryer. This way, I have more skincare stuff, but they're all kind of messy. I don't really want to show you guys. Woohoo! See, everything's kind of tiny, you know, like my shower room. Look at my bathtub. Yeah, it's pretty much my bathroom. It's very tiny, guys. Let's move to my bedroom slash living room. So it kind of just looks like this. It's very tiny, but it's like normal size in Japan. You can see the floor is a little bit dirty. I just took off the rug and then I'm trying to get a new rug because I have a dog. It'll be really annoying if I don't have a rug. And here in the corner, I just kind of have my suitcase. I have a hanger from Ikea. It's supposed to be just for hats because I have a lot of hats, guys. I also use for like my small bags. I'm going to explain later about why we shouldn't get a bed in Japan. But of course, if you like bed, go get bed i personally don't want to get a lot of furniture i personally don't recommend you guys get any big furniture especially expensive furniture in japan every two years you have to update your contract which means every two years you have to pay extra which is a lot of money so a lot of people decided to move every two years so that they can save the update contract fee when you got huge furniture say it's a bed you trying to sell it i don't even know why like people don't buy furniture here people take it for free See? Seriously, there are plenty of websites, almost like brand new furniture for free. So there's no way. I mean, of course, some people sell it, but like based on my experience, it is pretty hard to sell your used furniture in Japan. Plus, in Japan, when you're trying to throw away big stuff, such like rugs, I don't even know, like my dog cage, you have to pay extra for people to take your cage, which is crazy, right? It's just like not worth it to get big stuff. Only when I decided to settle down in Japan, I would consider to get some really nice furniture and I'm not moving anywhere. Or like when I actually purchase the house, I would get some furniture, you know? Also, when you move out of a house in Japan, if it's rental, you have to get away everything. You cannot leave anything in the room. You cannot leave the bed. You cannot leave any furniture in the bed, any furniture in the house my desk area where i study and everything i keep all my books here that's my painting that's where i eat i have a really tiny chair <laughs> you can see like i really don't have anything here and here is the dot cage electric piano and a guitar here on the top huge cage it's actually meant for a really huge dog i just want her to have more space so I let my dog just walk around in my room so my room is really dirty like full of hair and Kobe, come here this is my dog Kobe, guys very energetic She's like two years old, but she's like crazy, kind of. <laughs> All right. Crazy dog. Guys, take a look how big my window is. One thing I realized is that in Japan, they don't have big windows like this. So I just want to show you guys. You guys can see that is a company. It's like a huge building, right? Can you see how small their windows are? I got this place just because I see this huge 
window. I just want to feel the nature, you know? I don't want to stuck in that small windows and I can't even see the light. Let's take a look outside. It's like pretty small area and it's like really dirty here. So I don't really keep a lot of stuff. I just love, love the view. All right, guys, I guess this is pretty much today's video. I mean, it's a room tour, but I think it's more of uh, I want to show you guys the idea of living in Japan. How does the apartment look like? How do we keep the dogs and everything in just a uh, overview? I wouldn't say it's like really pretty decoration. I don't really have anything in my house. I don't have any furniture, but just in the rough idea of like, how's the room setting? Like, where's the kitchen? Overall, I think in Japan, all the houses are really, really small and kind of expensive. The thing is like people always ignore about the the actual space of the house. You pay 20,000, you only get like tiny, tiny, tiny bit of space. It's just like everything is so tiny, everything's so small. That's why I think it's more expensive, you know. If you want to live uh, in a bigger house but older, wooden, a uh, Japanese style house, of course it'll be cheaper and also depends on where you live. So hopefully today's video is helping you. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. I will answer all the questions. Make sure you guys follow me, subscribe me. I will see you next week. Have a nice day.